We continue to uncover new information about the suspect accused of opening fire inside a Dallas hospital and killing two workers there. A Dallas County judge said that Nestor Hernandez is eligible for bond, and that bond this afternoon is set at $3 million. WFA Sydney Persing, though, went to find out the possibility of this suspected, suspected murder, rather, getting out on bond. Nestor Hernandez is in jail behind bars, but could he get out? We now know a Dallas County magistrate set his bond at $3 million. That's $1 million for the charge of aggravated assault against a public servant, $2 million for the charge of capital murder of multiple persons. Now, even if Hernandez makes that bail, which is unlikely, former Dallas County prosecutor Toby Shook told me Hernandez will stay behind bars until a trial. That's because he's got something called a parole hold. Since he is on parole uh, out of prison, the prison officials, if there's a violation, can issue a parole hold. And that particular hold doesn't allow you to make a bond, so there's no way you can be released. No one should have any concern that uh, Mr. Hernandez is going to be out. He's, he's going to be locked up until his trial. Now, interestingly enough, if Hernandez did make bail and if he did not have that parole hold, he would be released on an ankle monitor. You might remember he's had one of those before and he cut it off. And on that note, Shook echoed much of what we've heard this week from DPD Chief Eddie Garcia, saying that so much of the time with violent criminals, those ankle monitors simply do not work. In Dallas, I'm Sydney Persing.